Boom! Today's sponsor is LG. Do not handle your products like this when you buy them. I did it for dramatic effect. Okay, so today's video, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit emotional. I've been staying up till 2 a.m., getting in my feelings, sad boy hours, does some weird stuff to your brain. Anyways, if you guys are good girls and good boys, you stay through this ad, you stay through to the end of the video, you will see a dope $3,000 streaming setup. I promise you, this is the coolest thing I've built on the channel. This is the 34 inch WQHD monitor by LG and it's actually the monitor we're gonna be using in this setup. It's an ultra wide monitor, which I personally love for streaming as well as gaming. The extra length and curve is incredibly immersive. This monitor has a 144 Hertz refresh rate, which is actually the standard for competitive esports. So if you're a gamer, this is definitely a good option. On top of that, this monitor has compatibility with FreeSync and is in the process of being certified as G-Sync compatible. But users on Reddit and Amazon are confirming that the compatibility works. On top of that, I've done my own testing to make sure this was the case, and it is. The monitor is very simple to assemble, and once it's put together, it's even easier to adjust it to your preferred height and tilt. I love it. If you're looking for a higher-end monitor to choose from, this is a great choice. Okay, we're in. First thing I notice um, with the widescreen monitor, while this looks beautiful for shooters, maybe it's... How, how is that not a headshot? Oh, you know what, Never mind. Okay, um, it might not be the easiest thing to check my corners, but this is really, really pretty. So that, that's one good thing off the bat. Oh. That's not the monitor's fault, I'm just bad. That's the power of this monitor. That is the power of this monitor. You buy this. You buy this, triple kills all day. Okay, so second, not bad. That's actually the highest I've ever placed. Um, 144 hertz, I could feel it easily and it feels really good when you're playing a shooter. It's, it's pretty, it's very pretty. If you're a streamer, you like being productive, something like this, highly recommend it. Dear Kimmy, the last year of my life has been one of the worst experiences of all time. It was a little over 12 months ago where life came out of nowhere and told me it was time to grow the fuck up. I wasn't ready for it, but I guess that other people in our situation rarely ever are. I had to leave my last job, which I was actually somewhat happy to do, but I didn't realize that also meant leaving all my friends as well. I became really alone really quickly and since then had a massive responsibility that requires me to be positive, hardworking, acutely aware, and extremely selfless all at the same time. The problem is, I'm none of those things. I'm selfish, I don't play well with others, and I'm incredibly jaded. So shoving all that into a tiny box and becoming a new person has been difficult, but incredibly necessary because you and I both know what's at stake. It was about four months ago into this process when something amazing happened. A video I posted to YouTube did extremely well and I realized that maybe I can have a job and still be there for the family. It started becoming more and more of a reality and it seemed almost scripted because the money could not have come at a better time. I was still lonely, but then I started to realize something. I had a platform. I could communicate to other people. So I started getting more involved with other creators here on YouTube, and then also was introduced to some beautiful souls on Twitch. From there on out, I actually started to make friends, and now here a year later, while we're still in that same situation, I'm able to have meaningful connections with other people and support the family as needed. So. Since you're here at home helping the family now too, I wanted to give you that same opportunity. I know you had other plans and wanted to live your life and that our current situation doesn't allow for that. So I figured that maybe what I do can help you in the same way it helped me. Also consider this your graduation present. Okay, so sorry, normally I don't read from paper, but I wanted to get all these thoughts out. Um, what we're doing today is we're actually gonna be building an entire 
gaming streaming PC setup and it's going to be I believe three thousand dollars in total everything that's on the table is not even all that we're going to be showing today there's a lot of stuff behind me uh, this is for my sister uh, she just graduated college from Stanford wow smart and um, this is this is going to be going to her and uh, this goes without saying she is she's getting a nicer computer than I am so uh, let's get to it for the processor, because Ryzen third generation is out of Valhalla, a lot of the second generation stuff is actually quite a bit cheaper and it's actually still really powerful. So for her computer, we're gonna be using a Ryzen 7 2700X. This is an absolute beast of a processor. Eight cores, 16 threads. This can do just about anything, especially streaming. For the motherboard, this thing is going inside the Asus Prime X470. This is a very nice motherboard and it actually matches the aesthetic that you will see we're going for here in a second. Comes with a lot of different features. I'm not gonna go over all of them, but it is an incredibly nice board. For our RAM, we are going with Corsair Vengeance RGB Pros. This is 16 gigabytes at, I believe, 3,000? Yes, 3,000 megahertz speed. I've said it before, but Ryzen processors need faster RAM in order to get the most of their performance, and this should be good enough. For the power supply, we are going with an EVGA 650 G3. This is a gold-rated power supply. It is plenty of power, especially for what we're going to be doing here, and and not much else. It is just a really nice power supply. It's really expensive too. For the cooler, yes, I do know the Ryzen 2700X does come with a stock cooler and it does look pretty nice, the Prism. However, I, like I said, wanted to keep going with our aesthetic. So here we have the H100i RGB Platinum SE cooler for the processor. As for our storage, we're actually using a WD Blue M.2 SSD from Western Digital. This has 500 gigabytes of SSD space, which should be enough for starting, especially if you're just streaming. I'm not sure if she's gonna be wanting to use videos or photos, but if she does, obviously I'm gonna upgrade that later. Here we have some Corsair LL120 fans. These are RGB and a lot of this stuff is actually Corsair. And I wanted to make sure that all of the RGB lights that are gonna be going inside this thing are gonna be staying consistent and can all have their own patterns going or work in sync. And lastly, for our case. <sighs> oh, okay, we are going to be using a Crystal 680X. This is a giant case. Oh, God, it's so good. Oh, oh, but wait. Chris, where's the graphics card? You can't have a gaming streaming PC set up without a graphics card. Well. Oh, and by the way, this build is being live streamed on Twitch. By the time you're watching this, it was already done. However, if you want to see any of the stuff that we do on the Twitch streams, it's a lot of joking around, a lot of funny, some gaming. There is a lot of PC tech. Just come check out the live streams. You guys will enjoy them, I promise.
Okay, it is finally done. Well, it's almost done. I may have misordered her mixers, so the correct one will be here in two days. Thank you, Amazon Prime. Anyways, so she's got her beautiful Audio Technica cardio condenser microphone. I think that's what it's called. She's got her pop filter, her mic arm, the XLR cable, the beautiful LG widescreen monitor. She's got a stream deck accompanied with the Elgato key light because this is actually gonna be able to control that, which I think is really, really cool. We also have white peripherals. I really, really, really wanted to keep it white, obviously. She got a white desk. This is the desk she picked out. She recently repainted her room. She likes lighter white colors, so that's what I wanted to stick with. Um, we also have <laughs> a white mat. I thought it'd be a nice little touch. And then obviously, of course, the freshly built 2700X system. Everything here together. Oh man, it, I, feel, I feel like it's so sick. <laughs> Let me know. I wanted to, would you, would you use this system? Rate me one out of 10. What do you think? Now that it's all done, my sister's actually about to leave town for a flight. So she was sleeping somewhere else, which was perfect while we were setting all this up. So while she's here back in the house for a little bit before she goes, we're gonna go surprise her. Kimmy! Go up. No, I need you to get my clothes at the break too. I don't know, come on, come on, come on. I know you're tired, come on, I wanna show you. Pick a hell of a time to go poo. Come check it out. Go in. <laughs> go. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Press the power. Okay, so here's the one thing. Here's the one thing. Um, the mixer, I ordered the wrong one, but it's going to be here in two days. So everything works. Oh, that's really nice. But press, press the power button and then take a look. <laughs> Is that a light? Yeah. What do you think? That's really nice, yeah. Thank I put you. your name on it. Okay. The microphone doesn't really light up, but that's okay. This is really cool. I like the microphone. You like the mic? Okay. Don't yeah, jiggle it too much. I just have to put like a camera up here or something? Yep. Oh yeah. I didn't think that through. <laughs> I forgot. You need a camera to stream. <laughs> well, I'll get you one. So, I mean, here's the thing. The reason, um, the reason I wanted to surprise you with this, um, is because, um, for me personally, Twitch and YouTube kind of, I feel like saved my life a little bit in a way. And whether or not you choose to do it is completely up to you. But I just feel like at the very least you have like a little office space you can do work from here at home. It's a lot prettier than a regular office space. Um, but if you choose to do it, you know, maybe because we're kind of homebodies and we're stuck at home, this will be like a window to starting what you want to do. Very cool. Well, thank you. It's very pretty. I like it a lot. You know you have a nicer computer than me now, right? Oh, it's super pretty. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, I already know you guys are going to make comments. Oh, your sister. Not grateful. I can't believe her reaction. Why wasn't it bigger? React harder. Um, here's the thing. I was not a good brother. And to be honest, I wasn't a good brother even up until the last six months. So it's very hard for my sister to be the way she is with her friends around me. And that's on me. I didn't do a good enough job. So I like to think that part of this, you know, not that material things will fix a relationship, but part of this, you know, will make a step in the right direction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. And as always, have a great day.